What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna try fishing a topwater frog for the first time. Throwing it on my spinning rod because that's uh, all I packed. Um, the bait caster has been making uh, weird noises in the reel. So it's out of commission currently. But we're gonna try this frog. See what we can get. Oh my gosh. One, one came for it. One came for it. Oh, holy crap. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, let's see if I can try and do it. <laughs> First cast with my frog, and a bass came for it. I'm throwing it along this parallel to this other bank. I'm trying to walk it as best I can. I'm not experienced with walking baits in any way, shape, or form. The guy whacked it right at the bank. Oh, and by the way, I didn't, uh, I forgot to mention the name of the frog. This is the um, Booyah Pad Crasher. Just a natural colored little frog. Let's give it a throw. All right, guys, so what I'm trying to do is, since there are no pads in this pond, I'm trying to work this frog over weed beds where they may be and uh, along reeds, along shoreline reeds. So that's the game plan, let's continue fishing. Now I'm throwing this on eight pound monofilament, so I've gotta be uh, very conscious about where I'm throwing this. Gotta be a little more careful. I can walk the frog underwater just fine. Oh, I had it for a minute. I had it. Oh, so I've gotten. I, I, it's a combination of speed and accuracy, is um, how I'm speculating this goes. Oh no, the hook, the hook punctured the frog. It's pretty bad. Good thing this isn't a super expensive frog. Just a booyah pad crasher. I heard it's a. I've heard it's a pretty common frog to throw. I can see why it's a nice natural color. Oh, I had it for a second. Yep, still learning how to walk this frog pro properly. It's about speed, timing, accuracy, is how I speculate it goes. Cadence, not speed, cadence, I believe is the proper term. for a second. Still trying to get the hang of it and the wind doesn't help me either. That's why I need like 50 pound braid. So today in this uh, Learn With Me tutorial, I've already, uh, I've already triggered one blow up with the frog. 
But I'm looking, I'm looking for what works best to get more. Cause I got, I got one frog with a pretty fast cadence. Um, you know, twitching it back, casting to the far bank. He actually hit it at the near bank. He, if I if I was on the bank, he hit it about right there, where my frog is. Yeah, so it was pretty close. It was a pretty close strike, but I just didn't get the hook set properly. And this banana rod doesn't help either. It's just it, it's a medium action rod, but it's just super flimsy but it works okay oh look i think one of my friends left this uh craw here this looks like something they used yeah yum yum christy craw looks like an oaky choby craw color so i'll pocket that give it back to him next time i see him I need to reel this up quick. I don't want to catch a frog today. Not the target species. Uh oh. I went underwater. So, yeah. If you're throwing a frog, probably use either a really stiff spinning rod or a medium heavy to heavy bait casting rod because this is a uh, not um <laughs> this rod isn't great for throwing the frog i've been struggling to walk it but when i'm throwing the frog i'm looking for shoreline cover so like scum and reeds and all that stuff and then i'm just chucking it towards that and just in that general direction then I'm bringing it back trying to find the right cadence and timing so that I can walk the frog on the surface now if, I'm, if I know this pond well which I do there should be a bass or two right there so I'm not gonna charge into that spot just yet I'm gonna throw the frog in there see if I can get one of them to go for it the weed beds have changed since I was last year they were more they were more prominent in this area right here so maybe those bass moved because the weeds are have lessened the, all the algae mats are much smaller than they were So yeah, guys, just trying to find that right cadence. And it also, it probably depends on the size of the frog and the weight of the frog. But just, just do a little experimenting like me today. I'm try, just trying to find that right cadence and timing so that I can walk the frog properly. And also, I think there's a tactic where you just not like that or you just kind of throw it onto pads and cover there are no lily pads in this pond so that's irrelevant to me today but you cast it say onto some scum pads whatever you slide it across am i wrong about that you pop it across the, the scum or the pads Try that tactic. Well, we'll, ju we'll just stick to our shoreline cover tactic because there's really not any scum or pad in this pond. Not much, anyway. All right, guys, so I have the jig tied on. This is the Denny Brower structure jig made by Strike King. And uh, on that, I've got a Yum Christy Craw, the one that I found over there, over that way. Um, it's, it seems to be in an Okeechobee craw color. Let's give it a little toss out there. 
Now this is a really heavy jig. It's much heavier than I normally fish, but I think it would be really helpful in getting down to the deep spots where the big fish are believed to lurk. Yeah, that's a really heavy jig. Got him. Yep, there we go. First fish. Oh, he ran me into something. Let's let him get out of there. Yep, feel him. Is he out? No, he broke me off. No, that was a fish. Well, the backup plan was working pretty well until uh, that fish ran me into a snag. I should have just let him get out of there instead of trying to rip him out. Oh, that might have been something. Probably just weeds though. Oh, man, that's heartbreaking. That was my first bass of the day. All right, guys, got this uh, little curly tail grub on the jig as the trailer. It also works as a good trailer for my micro chatterbait. Let's see if we can get revenge. Oh, that, that bass loss was heartbreaking. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what I got snagged up on, though. There's not really any sticks or rocks down there. Must have just got me right into the clump of weeds. But he broke me off on this eight pound monofilament. And by the way, guys, the fish here don't get any bigger than three pounds. This turtle thing is a great place to catch bass, but you get snagged up on it a lot. I lost a jig on uh, in my four bass at a pressure pond video. I lost a jig right on this turtle. So we'll continue, to, we'll continue tossing this little jig around, see if we can get something. Oh, that was a heartbreaking loss. Today is a nice, cool August morning. It's probably, probably about 80 degrees, so not bad. But yeah, I, I just wish I could have got that bass in. And it was a fish, guys. Because I had him on, I was fighting him. Then he ran me into something and he got wrapped around it real good. And so I was going to just try to let him, uh, you know, get out of it on his own. But he wasn't coming out of the snag. And uh, he broke the line. This is a Strike King Bitsy Bug Mini Jig, in case you were wondering. Then the other one was a Strike King Denny Brower Structure Jig with the Specialized Cobra Head. I don't even know what any of that means, but um, it worked within the first few casts. Here's this spot is where I caught one in uh, the July 2020 MTB Slam Challenge. There's a lot of weeds at this spot. This is better suited for the Texas rig. That type of thing. As opposed to 
the open hook jig. I mean, granted the jig has a weed guard on it, but it's not that weedless. I still think of it as an open hook bait. It's, it's good around like timber and stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's really hard to tell weeds from a fish because there are these long strands of weeds that the hook kind of slides up so it feels like a fish is biting it. But with the two fish that I've missed, they the line actually ran around for a minute. It wasn't. Got him. That's a fish. There we go. Little guy. Oh, there he goes. First bass of the day, not not a big one. But uh, a fish. Nevertheless, a fish. Little guy though. Wonder where the big ones are hanging out. I know there's a lot of depth in the center of the pond, but seriously. Got him. Another one. Another little guy. Oh there, oh, there he goes. Sweet. Finally. I'm getting on some fish. Got him. Oh my gosh, he chased that all the way back. Another little guy. Oh. Vicious little guy. There we go. There he goes. So I, what I did with that guy is I was just trying to reel back over here, but then uh, he came up and smashed it. Oh, that scared me. That was fun. Well, guys, that's going to about do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, didn't go, go quite as expected today. It was going to be a tutorial on the frog, but... Uh, yeah frog didn't work so we switched to some jigs caught a few small bass hope you enjoyed this episode see you in the next one